Konnichiwa minna. Hello everybody. In this video, I'm going to be doing chapter 5 of Yomi no Sugai. So if you guys would like to see more Yomi no Sugai videos from me, definitely subscribe down below. So let's get started. So we see, um, we see Yuru, Yuru's dad, and um, I'm guessing that's his mom too. I was like, sorry guys, it's been a while since I read this series. Not to say that I don't like it, but I was just taking a break from it. But I think that's his dad and his mom. And then um, Yudu's mom has the phone in her hand about to call her son. That um, what, will you, what will we do if Yudu gets hurt? So yeah, so basically um, she sets the phone down and Kotetsu, her cat, um, is basically typing and swiping on the smartphone. Smart cat, for sure. Smart cat. Um, so, um, Yudu's dad is all like, how, how, how do we get there? And then we cut back to Yudu trapped in this fish dungeon. Yeah, so the pure, so the pure, the people of, um, he, he got she, Higashi Mura also want their twins in their control. However, they couldn't come for Asa just after the village was attacked, right? So yeah, so we see you um Yudu in the fish cage. Um and then the guy's all like saving me having to look for you. Thanks, big brother. So we see Yudu trying to slice the the teeth of this fish but it did not work and then so you do sugai left and right um i don't smell metal i don't think they are armed um but the but there is a scent of a sugai so um these two scents um sugais but no no weapons not yet anyway So, yeah, so basically, um, left and right, which is you do sue guys, all like, you do things your way and we'll do, um, things our way. And then we see the fish, which is, I think his name is Gene. Yeah, Gene, right? Yeah, so we see, um, Gene, um, having his sue guy, which his sue guy is basically a piranha fish. And... His sugai spits out all these different weapons. We see guns, we see katana, we see crowbars spitting out all kinds of weapons, and they have their guns drawn, um, ready to shoot Yudu Sugai. And so they're um so they're shooting at the sugai, and then the um and then they ran out of bullets because as you can see that the top part of the gun is leaned back so if you guys know your weapons like if a gun like the top part of it well the, the slide so that's what i meant to say so it, like if you see the slide pull back basically there's no more ammunition so they basically just use the entire magazine um on these two sugai and the sugai doesn't seem very phased by it and then we see a guy with a shotgun um, shooting at the sugai, and they're all like, oh, what a bother, that's a sort of rifle, um, so yeah, so basically bullets do not affect these two sugai, and then it looks like, hmm, so I guess somebody threw a rock at him, and that didn't work, and then, so we see Gene pull out his, um, katana and then another one of his body cards brings out a crowbar swings it i think this is left um the woman sue guy so swings the crowbar at the woman sue guy and she blocks it and then throws him against the wall which is so cool and then we see gene slice down right and then breaks his katana so they're not effective with so these bullets are not hurt, hurting the sue guy and the sword is not um, har harming the sugai. Dang, what are these sugai made of? Um, they're weaponless, but no need to go easy on them. And then his guys are like, oh no, out of the way. 
um, Akko. I'm summoning them. And then we see a guy summon a freaking turtle to smash the the woman suit guy. Now, now, now it's like I forgot now. So, so he summons a turtle and like attempts to smash the woman suit guy. And then I think he also summons a rabbit. And basically, the rabbit leg sweeps the guy suit guy. So. Like a really amazing turtle, apparently, and a really amazing rabbit. Wow. A rabbit that can leg sweep. That's that's quite impressive. Um, some some help wait, some help you on the left. So the left is the woman? Yeah, so so I'm guessing the left is on the woman, and the right is the guy, Sue Guy. So the woman is left, the guy is right. Like I'm gonna remember that, but let's continue. Um, what? It's heavy, very heavy. Um, help me, you on the left, do something yourself. So, and then we see Yudu take out his dagger once again, slice in the teeth. Well, he, he doesn't. So it looks like he tosses the dagger and, and hits the turtle. Um, so, good job, Yudu. Um, saving um, your shoe guy there, and then right um, runs towards Yudu and says out of the way and kicks the teeth um, prison in, and then so we see Yudu like in the back like I do not want to get kicked, so he like moves like out of the way, and then Yudu takes the teeth and throws it at one of the bodyguards and he catches it. And then he yells, right, son, the last rule of the bathroom is lights off. So it looks like we see Yudu with a dagger running towards this spirit and then destroys it. Yeah, like it's like, we'll, we'll go with that. And then we see the turtle um, in his shell and the bunny is like kneeling down covering its head because... Um, Yudu is a very powerful character. Um, the, the kids' Sugai presents are getting further away. They've escaped. So basically they just, so the Sugai just dart and run, basically. Um, no, um, Ako Sugai is standing guard. I don't think that they can escape Big Bro. Um, my brother has a hardcore hunter mentality. And then we see Yudu um, slice Jean's legs, and he lands on his back, and then he calls out to his Sue guy, Kamoto-kun, and spits out a light, well, like a flashlight, it looks more like a flashlight, and then Yudu has the dagger towards Jean's neck, probably going to be asking some questions. Um, what... Why you left your master and run away? I don't know about you, but this is how we do it. So that's basically how they do it. So basically, Yudu Sugai um, does some, some awesome techniques and then they just run away. That's just how they do things. Um, and then, yeah, so like then we see Jean say with a dagger towards his throat saying, I see. It's better not to assume someone who grew up in the mountains is the same as us lower land people. Um, your Kagi Mori, your family your family was the one that attacked my village. So we find out that Jean has attacked Yudu's village. That's when we see all the helicopters and shooting everybody that 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 was his doing. Um, I was the one in charge. Yeah, yeah, Gene. Looks like I figured that. And, um... Um... You have a small smoke signal, right? And you can talk to people from far away. You used it just now. Or a smartphone. Ask uh, Asuka... Asuka. Ask Asa to come here. I want to... I want to talk. Talk? Not... Not give Asa to me. People, wait, don't people of 
Higashimura want the twins as well. Um, I don't know about them. I came here on my own accord. Um, then come to Kagimori Mansion. Asasan also wants to meet you. Um, no one would volunteer to enter the bear's den. Ask her to come here. Do you think um, do you think you people have a choice in the situation? Wait, at least let me stop Jean Sun's bleeding. Um, he'll die. Um, so he has cut him a little bit. Um, I only wound him slightly on purpose, but go ahead. Um, you did you did it on purpose. Yeah, because yeah, because you Jean, right? You had no intention of killing me. Um, if you if you had the slightest intent to kill, I would have answered in kind. So he doesn't really, really want to kill him. Yet. Like, like I should say. Um, there should be another pair of Suga, yours. Yes, there are. So, yeah. Then we see this big old eye through the door. And then Jean is all like, I won't ask Asuka to come here. If Big Brother comes to Kagemori Mansion, we won't do anything to you. I've noticed that I've had no intention of killing you, right? A rabbit and a turtle, and there's that. Um, it, it'll be too much for Sadu-sama very well. I'll go to um, Kagemori's house. Um, don't be disrespectful, Sadu-sama, of course. Your guests will be treated well. So, um, Yudu demands Jean to go to Kagimori's house, which I guess we'll find out next chapter um, what what Kagimori's house is. But yeah, guys, um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. So, we see a turtle sugai, we see a rabbit sugai, and they're both awesome. And then... Yudu is asking all the questions, like, why'd you do this? Um, come to Kagimori's house, and we'll talk more. So I guess we'll find out more in the next chapter. So, yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a comment, like, and subscribe, and let me know what you guys think about Yomi no Sugai down below. So I really do love this series. Um, if you guys did not know, Yomi no Sugai is the same creator who did um um full metal alchemist so if you guys read the chapters and stuff you could you could see how very similar the artwork is between full metal full metal alchemist and yomi no sugai and i do love um full metal full metal alchemist so this series would not disappoint because i do love this series i do love yomi no sugai if you guys have not check, checked it out i highly recommend that you do so so yeah guys I will see y'all next time. Matane!